Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Joe Biden's America, where everything is made up and the facts don't matter. I'm Toxic Male, and sitting across from me looking way too happy with himself is Terrence Pop. <laughs> What's up, you cunt chunks? Oh, ah. oh, it sounds like my favorite breakfast cereal, Count Chunkula. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm going to pass out. Uh, yeah, and we have a guest here today. Uh, he's actually uh, handles our legal stuff. Yes, he does. Mr. Fulkowski. Yeah, the uh, the full pierogi. 100%. <laughs> what did you call him? Full lock? Full pole lock? Because, you know, yeah. Crowder has half uh, oh, Asian oh, lawyer yeah. Bill Richmond. We have the full lock. The full Polkowski. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you tell us a little about yourself? Well, I'm, uh, I'm your lawyer. Uh-huh. Good, good thing to know. Uh, my background is actually in uh, software engineering. I uh, my undergrads in engineering school. Then I worked as a computer programmer. Uh, became a lawyer. Worked in big firms, small firms, large corporations, and decided that uh, the best way to live is to you know work for yourself out of your own house. So I've been self-employed since two thousand and five, uh, and you know I find it you know interesting to work on technical technology-based legal issues. So in your case, disputes with PayPal or YouTube. And I help clients get patents, start businesses. I help artists copyright their songs and do trademarks and do deals and That's cool. sue people sometimes too, you know. <laughs> all right. It's all good fun. You're going to get sued, man. You're going to yeah. get sued. <laughs> Allegedly. This is what Allegedly. we always refer to oh, as yeah. X. X. Yeah, X. No, no, no other titles attached. No additional uh, identifiers, just X. Yes. That'll be fine. And uh, the reason why we have uh, the, the full pierogi on the show is because after we go to new tech, we're going to be talking about some stuff that I'm pretty sure would get us banned on big tech. Yes. So. They're not going to be happy with what we uh, have to tell you. No. Uh, we discovered some things about what's probably the reason behind the nuking of every single PayPal and Venmo account that ever even thought about being associated with the two of us. And it sounds a little... Because there's national... A little fraudulent? Well, there's national uh, class action lawsuits springing up. No. Oh, yeah. No, no. Big tech is is angelic. Yeah, sure. They would sure. never do anything wrong. Yeah. But at the same time, of course, all corporations are evil, and you know, <laughs> suck it, suck a dick, mm -hmm. suck a big fat one. Oh, what a what a time to be alive! Ah, <laughs> what a time to be alive! I mean, just just think about it. We have a president in office, I mean, elected the Richard Most, Potato. Yeah. By the way, have you ever seen eighty-one million people? So fucking quiet in your life. You might say they're as quiet as the grave. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Richard Potato. I like it. Yes. <laughs> oh, hey. But. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's okay. Is that painted on? It, yeah. It, uh, oh, my God. Might as well be. Hello. I have a question. How do you guys, like, choose? Like, do, do people send this stuff in? Or do so, yeah, we do. Some do, yeah. yeah. Okay. Some do. I like that one. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I went off topic. I just oh. I had to say I had to speak. <laughs> it's the the natural course of events that we have seen going back to the, the 2000s. Essentially, we've got a president in office failing in every conceivable metric. Went from being most popular elected president ever to sub 40 percent approval in less than a year. Gas prices at historic highs. Anthony Fauci's nowhere to be seen. Could it have something to do with the 1300 adverse effects or the fact he's been busted out and lying in Congress? Oh yeah. Numerous times. Yes. Numerous times. Or, or the fact that he had a hand in creating the coup. Yeah. Genocide. All right. Yeah. A little bit. Oh, it's the same. I mean, still can't hold the candle to women. But I'm just saying. Yeah, and then uh, we we had a couple comments out there, and they're like, "Why do I always sit here with my arms crossed?" This is how NCOs stand around and sit around uh, when they're dealing with craziness. And you know, it's also a basement, and it gets cold, and when it, when it comes to temperature, you're a little weak. Yeah, I am weak. It's a brain injury <laughs> thing. You got me. But you put all that shit together, and then you know the fact that you know, worst White House press secretary ever. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Worst economy, record high inflation, highest in 40 years. Everything's going wrong, and people are actually starting to notice. Well, 
Time to start a fucking war. Yeah. yeah. Let's kick off some fireworks where people die at the end. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. Fuck that shit. Uh, welcome no. to Joe Biden's America. All right, can I uh, give an interdict? Can I um, interdict? Interject or interdict? Of course, yes. In regards to what's going on in Ukraine. All right. From what I've been able to tell is Russia underestimated the Ukraine. They expected to literally be parked, you know, have their vehicles parked in the main cities within 72 hours. That has not happened. All right. Now, if you recall, I've done, I've been talking about these, uh, <sighs> their staging areas and their depots that they've left behind for like a year, two years, getting ready for this. Well, apparently, they have a hard time doing maintenance. <laughs> Because there's literally video evidence out there showing vehicles in some of these convoys rolling with all of their tires flat from dry rot. Okay, and we've been hearing about this huge convoy that's parked on this road. That it goes on for 60 kilometers outside Kiev. Well, it's cold over there in Europe. I've been over there quite a few times. So what do soldiers who don't give a fuck do when it's cold? Oh, that's right. They don't turn their vehicles off. Uh, so they're, they're probably drinking fuel like it's going out of style. Uh, they're eating their food. And the first wave that was sent in was nothing but conscripts. Uh, and they've taken, uh, in my opinion, they've taken a healthy amount of casualties. And they've lost a lot of equipment. Compounded with the fact we are now sending all kinds of Stinger missiles and anti-tank uh, missiles like the Javelin. And uh, listen, the Stingers that are produced today are not the Stingers of the 90s. The Stingers of the 90s, you had between a 10 and 20% chance of actually having the warhead uh, detonate close enough to the aircraft to do any meaningful damage. That's up to 40% now, 30 to 40%. Despite all of the flares they shoot and all the crazy stuff they do, they're still getting a stinger right up the tailpipe. And it's causing nothing but havoc. And it's only going to get worse now because now Russia is going to switch to the old way, and they're just, they're just going to decimate cities and just have a rolling wave of artillery until they either give up or die. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to get ugly for Ukraine. Yes, and, and that is if if everything that we hear is actually true, because there is so much propaganda and so much censorship in fog of war in fog of war that it's almost impossible to tell where the real story is coming from. I'm sure that if you took all the point of views and put them together, you might be able to kind of sift through it and and find the nuggets of truth, but. There's so much of it out there. I don't know how anybody would have the Well, have the I time. look at a lot of stuff, and, and I dig through it. And I've, I've actually sat in on briefings when PsyOps was actually, you know, cooking up their magic. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I know, I know PsyOps, and I know propaganda when I see it. So hopefully, uh, and, I, and I, I spin my opinion in there. You, know, you can take that or leave it. I don't care. You don't have to agree with everything I have to say. I'm, just, I'm not running a cult here. I'm just trying to help you open your minds. No, no. We uh, we would probably suck at running a cult. We're we're way too open and transparent with sources and information. And we don't give a fuck. Yeah, there's always that. It's hard to be a cult leader when you're like, eh, yeah, whatever. Has anybody ever ran a cult based on facts, logic, and reason? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. Will not last. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you look at college campuses today, that's a cult, ladies and germs, just so we're clear. It's good times. Great oldies. <laughs> now, the, the first subject of today, I was actually really shocked this was a subject for one specific reason. One, I wouldn't know who the hell this person was. If I hadn't met her in person almost ten years ago, oh, this is the this is the football pl or the, the the WNBA player, the WNBA player, yeah. Uh, so you met this woman, right? I met her. Yeah, I I probably should. Is that a woman? Woman in quotes. Uh, <laughs> She's a WNBA star. <laughs> a WNBA star. Yes, uh, Brittany Griner, 
If you don't know who she is, super tall. I, I, I'll tell you. First time that I met this person, I was covering the women's final four in 2013 for Oakland University. Getting ready because she was like the bit like, she's going to go number one in the draft, blah, blah, blah. So I set up the camera in the hallway, get the microphone. I have the presenter there with me. He's an awesome dude. He, you know, goes over the preliminaries. I'm not listening because I'm setting up. Yeah, yeah. Once I have everything set, headphones go on. Neil's like, hey, 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 passes the mic over to Brittany Griner. Ah, uh, here we go. And I would have sworn on a stack of Bibles, Barry fucking White was talking to me. Mm. Can't get enough of your love, baby. <gasps> <gasps> yeah. I, I, I'm like looking for the outline of a dick, like Big Mike. <laughs> <laughs> It could have been bad, I'm just saying. Oh, my Lord. Either way, I, I find it hilarious that this is happening. Yeah. It's mostly because, like, it's WNBA. All right, now, so. for, she, was, <laughs> really she was picked up in Russia before the hostility started because she had a vape pen with hashish oil in it. Yes. And, and they don't play over there with no, that. No, you should know the customs and laws of carrying, you know, potentially illicit substances across country lines. And I mean, right. wasn't Sylvester Stallone picked up in Australia or New Zealand? HGH. Yeah, for HGH, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, and, and he came out and said, I fucked up. I should have known the laws. I didn't. And they're like, bad, bad. Pay yeah. the fine. He's like, yeah, whatever. But that's New Zealand. I mean, that's a place where you have... Rule of law, you have rights, right? I mean, don't go to don't go to a place like Russia or China and do anything, <laughs> right? I mean, like if you're going to go to those places, you got to be, yeah, you know, you take the minimum with you, yeah, and you do. This is a simple word of advice: shut the fuck up. <laughs> when they fucking tell you stuff, you're like, yes, sir. We're, I'll stand in this box. Uh, okay. okay. What do we need? I'm just here to see the sights and eat the food. Oh, uh, I just want to go home and this is all over. <laughs> like, what? Uh, shut the fuck up. Yeah. And that's really, I think, the Stallone thing. And like you said, rule of law and whatnot. It's a good example just because Stallone was like, he admitted it. Uh, fucked up, you know? Uh, hey, you know, I'll pay the fine. I'll move on. <laughs> Brittany Griner apparently is a victim, and they're like, oh, they're going to use yeah. her as a, as a high-profile hostage way. And when you read this article, and I'm sure that this is kind of sampled from other stuff that they just happen to know about Brittany Griner from other info information, they make her out to be like this astonishing person, celebrated Olympian, devoted wife. Uh, her wife now is Sherelle Griner. I love my wife wholeheartedly, so this message comes during one of the weakest moments of my life. I understand that many of you have grown to love BG over the years and have concerns and want details. Please honor our privacy as we continue to work on getting my wife home safely. Where? So basically what what they're doing here is they're taking this old garden tool and using her <laughs> to hold the sympathy farm. Yes. Well, look in the dictionary between shit and syphilis. And if this were just any other athlete... Because, listen, honestly, does it, can anybody name five players in the WNBA? No. I didn't think so. The reason why they're picking her out specifically is because she ticks all the boxes. She's female. She's stunning and brave by Pac. Mm -hmm. And she is lesbians. So she, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that'll do it. Put but all three but together. But the thing is, she was picked up before the hostility started. Yeah, because she fucked up. Yeah, I mean... Listen, they don't play around when it comes to drugs over there. I know it's they're corrupt as shit, but if, if you're not in the corrupt farm and you get caught with the corrupt shit, you're going to get spanked. Uh, oh, actually, no, this is a little more recent than that, so we're going to issue a little correction there. It was on February 11th where Joe Biden called on Americans to evacuate the region. Uh, the 24th was when the invasion of Ukraine began. She was picked up by Customs Service on March 5th. I stand corrected. Okay. So, I, I heard so she's, she's even dumber. Because she's flying through Russia while hostilities are going on, and she carries a vape pen full of hashish or marijuana, whatever the hell it is. Now, uh, listen, I, when I was in the service, I stayed away from all of that shit. But now that I'm no longer in the service, that shit works to help you sleep. Yes, it does. What was she doing there, though? No one ever says, like, I'm, uh, like what brought her to Russia? Why? I have no idea. I don't know. Some and, and kind of off-season play or something like that. 
Uh, it's very possible. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed, uh, some of the athletes that I've kept in touch with for, from Oakland who you know play basketball, some of the girls on the basketball team, a lot of them tend they wind up playing for foreign teams uh-huh. or doing exhibition games in you know countries around Europe and whatnot. And th- they may have just touched down in Russia for some reason, and then she got picked up. Vada voom, vada ving. Uh, but oh, hang on! Oh, I, mean, I, I really like that painted on one. That's good. Yeah. <sighs> that was, that one looks like it's painted on as well. She How do they do that? that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it, it literally <laughs> looks like it was painted on with like latex paint. So does her face. Well, but, yeah. but, but she looks like every Instagram thought with an IQ less than her shoe size. So uh, she definitely looks like she has a bump and grind shop on the way out the door. <laughs> <laughs> what are they not going to remind you of? About Miss, using well, that term loosely, them. Brittany Griner. Uh, um, she's not that great of a person. Pregnant wife gets the boot. Yes, pregnant. I know that a further lending credo to the big mic thing. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> With a voice that deep. Yeah. Uh, apparently, she was married to uh, Glory Johnson, a maiden name Hole. Uh, has been. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Is that really your name? <laughs> no, I'm just fucking oh, okay. with you, bro. Oh, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <sighs> Evidently, what happened was there was a domestic violence incident that broke out 28 days after their wedding where they beat the ever-loving shit out of each other after she had an IVF treatment. And that resulted in a divorce. So, let me get this straight. Okay, so... She had to get a procedure to have the man milk delivered right to the warehouse. Unless they did it the old-fashioned way. Well, that could be. And then (laughs) they do what typically happens in those households. There's a fight! (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Because let's let's be honest here. Uh, Women do a lot of domestic violence. They just are not good at it. (laughs) Yes, uh, I believe the statistic that was Buried under the soil by feminists. Uh, there was a Harvard study released, uh, that may have been 10 years ago at this point, dis- discovered that 70% of unreciprocated domestic violence is initiated by women. Now, when you're in a same-sex partnership That's where all. you're both women, that tends to go off the chain. So you're talking 140% chance of some WWF shit going on. <laughs> yeah. I totally get it. <laughs> Steel cage match. Uh, that's, that's exactly what happens. When somebody had to get like evicted from the, from the actual steel cage when they were pregnant, yeah. yeah, it probably didn't go over well. Yeah, well, I mean, you never ever, you, you don't want to mess with those pregnancy hormones. No, no, it's a mistake. No, no. You, you, you do that? No. no. This is why you had a sleeping bag in the back of your truck. It wasn't just because you needed sleep. Well, it's You don't want to mess with the pregnancy brain. Oh, uh, yeah. That's not a good thing. No. That's no. actually a good comedy video. <laughs> Let me write, write that, that down. down. P- pregnancy brain. Yep. Here's the, uh, the original article here. This was uh, April 23rd, 2015. And, yeah, they just attacked each other. I mean, I can't understand All why right. anybody would think... That these two would be anything other than just totally pleasant. Well, they are chicks. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I literally was walking up to a, a door and this Mexican chick stepped out with a baseball bat full of gutter nails. There was nothing said. I don't know what happened. I just had to run for my life. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Cops say Brittany admitted to throwing a dog bowl at a wall and then the two began fighting. Not to be confused with my epic uh, show of strength here. Here we go. <laughs> classic uh just like this study here classic actually released just a year before this incident uh two studies that prove domestic violence is an lgbtq wtf lol issue uh looks like the national violence against women survey which as we all know you can only take with a grain of salt because surveys are it's not, a survey they're not fact based uh, found that 21.5% of men, 35.4% of women living with a same-sex partner experienced intimate partner physical violence in their lifetimes compared with 7.1% and 20.4% of men and women respectively with a history of only opposite-sex cohabitation. Hmm. So you're talking about an order of magnitude more common. Uh, transgender respondents had an incident of 34.6%. Hmm. 
Uh, well, I, I hope when they get married, they are given a uh, book of the Queen's Mary's boxing rules. <laughs> Marcus of Queensberry boxing rules. Well, that, that, that'll that help. Well, I mean, 35% chance, sooner or later, somebody's getting punched. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yes, now remember, fog of war, lots of propaganda coming out. Yep. They're going to want you to think that this person is just... Holy ho, you know, especially because she ticks all of the affirmative action boxes. Not so much. They walk on water. She pees, wine, and shits wafers. Yes. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I mean, as far as we know right now, I mean, to listen to the American media talk about it, the Ukrainian people are just doing laps around the reservoirs, just yeah. walking on water. Now, let, 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 now, let's just get this straight here. I don't want anything bad to happen to this person. And I, I hope they don't spend a lot of time in jail over this horse shit. No. Okay, I, I don't want to see anyone lose their freedom, get thrown in prison, or get hurt. I, we're just saying that the the good person that they're painting her to be, she's an average person, and average people do fucked up shit, including me. I'm sorry. Don't we all? All right. Ugh. Well, you want to do a roll call? Yep. We can do a roll call. What do we got here? All right. We're going to start with the small ones here first. Jumping over to Twitch. 68 watching on Twitch. How y'all doing over there? We got a couple of wrenches. Keeping things civil. We uh -huh. all appreciate that. DLive, 78 viewers, and Dinoside13 has got his gift game going strong. Dapper Sapper's got a RoboCop gif. I, I can appreciate that. Fantastic movie. 594 currently watching on Rumble. You guys are awesome. Don't forget to verify your accounts if you would like to donate on Rumble. I know that that's been a uh, point of contention. Shovel Monkey over on Odyssey's got a chat here. He says, do you sue governors and county health officials for lockdowns and masks? You can. You can. But you have to sue the state. You can't really Easy. go after them because it's part of that qualified immunity that they can do whatever the fuck they want. You can't do anything to them. Yeah. That needs to change. Yes, it does. You can sue anyone, but you'll lose. Yeah. Yeah, well, you heard it first from him. Yeah, there you go. Uh, 138 on Odyssey right now. MGTOW.TV, 41. YouTube is topping out at 961 with 402 likes. Make sure that you smash that shit. Smash it hard. Smash it long. Okay. Do it. That's not bad. That's not bad. So we're at, uh, you know, 16, 17, or right, right around 1900-ish. Not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. bad. We can do better. Share the shit out, man. Let's do this. Share the shit out, man. Yeah, let's talk about it. All right. Well, we have about 1,900 people watching. It's a good opportunity to take a quick break for a sponsor shout out, and then we will read some super chats before we start talking about everyone's favorite subject gas prices. <laughs> <laughs> oh, son yeah. of a bitch. The first wave. Well, that was about voting. <laughs> the second wave, that was about the pill. <laughs> Double wham. The third wave, it was about securing more rights than men. And because we let it all happen, what does the fourth wave look like? Find out and arm yourself against the war for your soul and this country. You need these books here. Surviving Fourth Wave Feminism, <laughs> Volumes 1 and 2. They're on sale now. Click on the link below in the description, because if you save masculinity, you're going to wind up saving the world. I know we kind of sound like that old show Heroes with the end of that one, but it's true. Didn't I, was, didn't I uh, at that last line, did I improvise that? No, that was one that we had come up with together. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I always write up the copy, and then we, we popify it as we shoot it. Cause it's, a lot of times I interject shit, because that's just how, how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, when you think about it, and you, you look at the state of men who are raised by single mothers and where they typically wind up, it's pretty obvious that toxic masculinity is not the problem. Yeah, well, and another thing is they don't come here to watch Talking Heads. No. Anyone can do it. We can, all right, so we're going to talk about it here. Right, right, yeah. right. All right, what do you think about it? No, no, no. I always throw in my own opinion, my own slants. I say my popisms. People get upset, and I don't care. No, we are not uh, the teleprompter in chief. 
We've got uh, we've got a demented fuckwit in the White House to take care of that one for the us. Richard Potato. The Richard Potato covered in dressing. Yes. <laughs> and if you don't know what that is, Richard, if you use the English naming convention, shortens to Dick. Yes. And Potato, well, they're called here in America taters. taters. <laughs> and you just put together that compound word and figure it out and for yourself. You as I, or if you go back to when Obama was in office and Big Mike was done with him at the end of a long weekend, you had a loaded Richard Potato. Mm. Oh, God. Full of cheese and bacon. Ah! Mugging! <laughs> Bastard. Oh! I think it stuck to your neck. Wait, did it go down my shirt? Do I get bonus points for that shit? No, it, it almost went down the back of my shirt. Oh, that would have been epic. Oh, I'd have been pissed. Damn it. Okay, all right. Uh, life goals. Life goals. I got gotcha. you. Oh, all right, we'll read some Super Chats here. See what all we got here. I read the only one that was over on Odyssey. At least I think so. Now it's it's considering me. Hmm. Fuck it. Jumping over to MGTOW.TV. Oh, by the way, uh, just r- reminder for those of you who haven't caught the last week's streams, PayPal has completely gutted our potential for accepting donations through them. Stream Labs, Stream Elements, all bye-bye because they only utilize PayPal. If you look in the description, Meat Gazer Box, whatever you want to call it, you will find links via Stripe in increments of $5, 10 20 50 and $100 for donations. Mm-hmm. If you want to donate that way, click it. We will be getting a notification in the email account, and you guys can send your comments via email to redonkulous12 or redonkulousblake, gmail.com. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. MGTOW.TV, we got... I knew I was going to pay for that article about the guy dating the fucking midget. Fisting midgets Blakey cheeks. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! What's up, Pop and midget, <laughs> midget fucker Blakey cheeks? Uh, not so bad. <laughs> That's a bad thing. My, my temper's been running a little short. Oh, you, you can call him the waist high oh. beer holder. <laughs> <laughs> now, if she had a flat head, you just put the beer on top of it. Yeah. Well, you just you have can, to make sure it doesn't slosh around too much. You can buy a special hat for that. You wind up giving yourself a money shot. Yeah. Oh, get yeah. Her, get, get her, you one and her one at the same time. <laughs> yeah. That probably takes a lot of concentration, though. It probably know. does. I'm not that guy. <laughs> Put two beers on her head. She wanders around the party like R2-D2 on Jabba the Hutt's yeah. fucking floating raft. <laughs> I like it. I like it. R2, what are you doing? Uh, fisting midgets, Blakey Cheeks. Again, you just want to make me read that fucking name. Uh, hey, Pond Blake, how would the West react if China and Russia united into one country? Hmm. That would be bad. I don't really know how that would happen. Well, that's basically what's happening now. Well, now listen. When you follow the money, it's all. Yeah, when you follow the money, it is. But Russia, they really don't play well with others, and they never have. No, no never. It's... If you even go back into like the 1200, 1300s, they were doing their own thing. Yeah. And now, you know, in 2022, we've got... Uh, Germany militarizing in the face of a Russian threat. Gee, where have we seen this before? Well, well, hang on a minute. Um, All right, now, Germany militarizing, what they're really doing is they're spending the money that they're supposed to spend on their military as per the treaties with fucking the UN and NATO. Yeah. Okay, they're not going above and beyond that yet, but we'll see. Because those fuckers are good at making weapons. <laughs> They're a little too complicated. You can't you know, crank them out that fast. But if they could have, we could be looking at a different fucking world today. I'm just saying. Yes. There'd be a lot of people speaking German. Maybe. Possibly. Allegedly. Hmm. You're not wearing that shirt, but it's still a good shirt. I like that shirt. This one here? Yeah. yeah. You guys can still buy that one on the Stream Element store. Link in the Meat Gazer box. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the, I think I said that to you one one night when like I was mimicking you and where you were talking. Was like, I have no feelings left to hurt. <laughs> and you were like, "That's brilliant! You're gonna put it on a shirt." I'm like, all right, fine. I had it up on the store like three days later. That actually uh, I I, just yeah. cracked a thousand. Winning. All right, all right. Thank you very much for tuning in, everybody. We got uh, Wadley two twenty five on YouTube here. First resident diaper cut our oil infrastructure to be a good liberal. And now he's stopping Russian oil imports. I'm going to right. finish this out here. Without compensating with our own oil. So double fucked. All right. 
what most people don't seem to understand is right now we're at the top of the inflation. Like gas now is historically the most expensive it's ever been when you take inflation into account. So the middle class and everyone below that, they are now maxing out their budget for fuel to you know for the for the month. When that goes to six dollars a gallon, it's gonna start cutting into their food and other bills. Yeah. And it, you're gonna it's going to get incredibly ugly for everyone. All right, so pay attention to that because once it gets to six bucks a gallon, then all of the stuff that's trucked in and, and whatever to so your food, your water, your drinks, you know, the, the midget touching your penis, whatever. <laughs> they're coming in via a truck. Midget fisting Blakey chase. So guess what? Now now they have to pay for all that gas and it's just gonna get passed on to the consumer. Yep. So guess what? Uh, you're going to have a hard time heating your house, driving around, and you're certainly not going to be able to juggle fuck the midgets because it's too expensive. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I'm picturing it. Uh, Mungo Harry over on MGTOW.TV with a $20 donation. Good evening. Thank you. <laughs> uh, crazy uncle, I know you guys are going to talk about the fuel prices, so keep this in mind. Even with the massive spike in prices for the past two weeks, not to mention the past year, there has been zero disruption in oil to the USA until today. Okay. Well, unless and you count President Biden. I have to take my pill with alcohol. That's not safe, Pop. That's what my doctor used to tell me. It's okay. He used to tell you. Well, he retired. Oh, yeah, your Spetsnaz. The Spetsnaz doctor retired. That ends, you're going to die. Yeah. Shit happens. Oh, all we got here. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, fill up Oliver Holes. God damn. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Had myself a slingback the other night. Oh, Girl no. Girl tried making innuendo about a cookie I was eating. Then I denied her. She got appalled when I hit her with a gif of a yo-yo for slingback. Nice. Explained you didn't want to wait until I returned from a deployment. She gained a lot of weight, too. She came back because her fiancé cheated. This is what you need to do. Allegedly. You need to send her the slingback effect video, and then you got to send her fun with numbers one and two. Because fun with numbers is what women are looking forward to as they get older. And it's glorious. Ooh. It's the downward spiral of seven five three three one one and done. Yes. Uh, and by the way, never ever take a woman for her word when she says that a man cheated on her. Ever. I don't care. I I, I don't care. Well, I don't. I don't. I've learned my lesson. I really have a hard time believing when women speak to me and they tell me stuff. I'm like, oh yeah. I have to verify everything. Oh yeah. Because my my horse chick who cheated on me will tell everyone who will listen which is like three people that i was the the instigator i'm the one who went out and yeah, yeah, fucked you. around on her so yeah yeah we were also toxic time. i'm sure too yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, I'm toxic totally abusive toxic. emotionally abusive god i emotionally abusive is such a it's such an annoying label. To he was to. financially abusive. Whatever. <laughs> he wouldn't let me have my allowance because I sucked his friend's cock. <laughs> <laughs> Her kid. You touched another man's kiaka. Kiaka. Did you see? There's like TikTok videos. These stupid chicks going on there admitting stuff like, "Why am I thinking about cheating on a guy who's actually really good to me?" And then the next thing it says, "Realizing I'm his karma." Uh, you said he was good to you. Mm hmm Western women are pretty fucking vile now. Yeah, and here's another thing. If a nuke is dropped within the United States, all of those social programs are gone. Yep. And all of those ladies out there with a, a farm full of kids from a whole crop of dudes that they don't even talk to anymore <laughs> are screwed, lewd, and tattooed. And you will see them on the street corners by in droves. Yep. Doesn't that sound appetizing? It does. Bunch of 40 and 50 year old women running alongside your car. I'll suck your dick. <laughs> I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> like, nope. Good. See you later. They're going to be jockeying for position with the homeless dude who wants to wash your windshield. <laughs> I'm t I, listen, I'm just telling you. 
I'm just telling you what happened because I've been all over the world and I see what the like the incredibly impoverished people do. Yeah, because there's no safety net there. Like Venezuelan women going over to sell yeah. their ass in Colombia. Yeah. Because guess what? You know, if you think it can't happen here, you're out of your fucking mind. I could just imagine that. Like. It's not even like a glory hole anymore. It's just a chain link fence, and these chicks are like, like, like a bug, just like a sea cucumber. Can you imagine like, that? <laughs> Let me back up on this one over there. I know? mean, they got one in each hand, one in their mouth, and cars are driving by. You got chains? Spare chains? <laughs> You take my head to these places, man. <laughs> Comedy gold, man. Oh, it's Listen, disgusting. Listen, there's, there's really no other show out there. I mean, there's the Crowder, but he does, like, plan skits and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, I, I like his show. I don't agree with a lot of what he has to say, but that whiny, that whiny voice he does, I just can't. Yeah. I just can't do it. I know. But, you know. It's all good. But in regards to nuclear war, I'm just going to throw one of these in here. But ah, that could be painted on, too. That's a little too tight because you can see like uh, her fat legs, are, yeah. the fat in her legs is pinching in. She, you're going to be able to read this girl by Braille in five years. That's yeah, quite possible. Yeah. According to the New York Times, New York and your nuclear war just means that you know, well, you know, they drop a few bombs, the world will cool off a little bit, or they'll help with climate change. Well, uh, this uh, is the kind of stuff that used to be satire. Well, uh, by the way, but the thing is, if if you take out if you take out a billion people, yeah, it's gonna help the Earth. There's just that's a billion less people who are burning fossil fuel and breathing air and shit in a pot. <laughs> yep. Oh uh, well, that's exactly what Bill Gates wants. After a nude pool party, of course. Yeah. Uh, Crazy Uncle again here with an email. Uh, gentlemen, with everything going on around the world, I need to bring up something your audience needs to hear. In the past week, two of my friends have been hit with scammers. Both of them were contacted by their bank asking for info. Even something as simple as your full name. To make this email short, keep this in mind. If your bank calls you, hang up immediately and call them via their contact number. Reason? The tech shits can make it look like you are being contacted by your own bank. It's insane. Watch your wallet, just like you do when you take a woman home. Though in this case, you don't have to cover your drink. All right. Well, thanks for the warning. I appreciate the heads up. Oh yeah, they're getting all kinds of crazy with the uh, with the shit. Oh boy, we got a we, go. we got a tip over on Subscribestar from Ad Space and Blake's Anus for Sale. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are having way too much fun creating these usernames, uh, man. That's good shit right there. <laughs> it is funny. Yeah, just I'll go definitely to, go to give you that. Yes, yeah. uh, I'm trying to get a look at it here. Huh? Trump voice. There is no rule in the law of New Zealand and Australia. You have no right to self-defense. Everyone stock up on food now. Start with rice. I already did it. Yes. And uh, I believe Tim Pool did a stream yesterday. Where he had a link to the website. I think it's called patriotsupply.com. Yeah, They're yeah. offering like 33% off of like a four month supply of food. I highly recommend it if you have the money to spend right now. It's like 750 bucks, or it would be roughly yeah, a thousand. We actually have a few offers to, to pitch their stuff. We just haven't taken up on it. Might as well. I mean, if, if there was ever a time. Well, the thing is, is they're tied into the, your, your YouTube, uh, the YouTube audience, and we have audience across all of the internet. Yes. So it's uh, it's a little weird dynamic. Yeah, they can reach out. Mm -hmm. Crazy uncle again. In regards to Ukraine, a lot of people are saying this shouldn't happen anymore. This is simply saying that large wars shouldn't happen anymore. To say that to that, I say the same thing as the major in the original Red Dawn. Maybe people just forgot what it was like. Yep. Now listen, uh, this this is the exact same shit that happened in World War One and World War Two in the beginning. So hopefully, this will calm down. If not, get ready for bad news. Bad news. Uh, two more from Crazy Uncle. Blake, every time Pop gets spun up, you need to play the audio of Emperor Palpatine saying, Good. Let the hate flow through you. Yeah. Or if you're a leftoid, you did let you, the butt hurt flow through you. Hey, look, did you guys like that that uh, video of me doing all the you know, rants? Oh, the mega rants? The we, mega have, we have mega rant collection number two coming this week. Just so you know, they're doing pretty well. <laughs> Tactics will b win battles. Logistics win wars. Ask Pop if he knows who said it first. Oh, I think that is what, Patton? 
I'm not sure. Uh, crazy uncle, let us know if he's right. Uh, James, 1225, drive on hard. 313th Michigan, 82nd Clown World, bringing nuclear winter this summer. Yeah, that's not, a, that's not really a good thing. No, it's not. Just going to say that right now. For fact, we just topped 1,100 people on YouTube. Thank God y'all damn. for tuning in. Got to double those likes, though, gentlemen. 596 is only about half. Yeah, you guys are slacking. Get on the ball, God damn it. Get on the ball. <laughs> half. That's what your ex-wife's going to take. Psycho Dwarf 9, when the normies get hungry, the pitchforks and torches will come out. That's abs- Listen, there's a whole massive amount of people in the middle. And you piss them off, and they start moving in your direction, you are fucked. It's not going to go well for you. Just say it right now. I got to do the liberal crap. You're fucked. Stop doing that. (laughs) Stop not calling my girlfriends back, bitch. Uh, I hate when women do that shit. My youngest daughter does that. Oh, tell her to stop. Can you stop doing it? I'm like, whoa, whoa, what's this? Uh, You never were on a cheerleader. Why are you doing the clapping thing? Ugh. That better be the only clap you ever get, woman. Yeah. Oh, please, please, thank you for putting that image in my head. <laughs> <laughs> you rat bastard. Got to real light. Ah! <laughs> Keith Peterson, thanks for the inside baseball. Oh, here we go. But oh. there we go. Okay, okay. Not quite painted on. She's using the, the counter to kind of help her out a little bit. Chicks do that. It's weird. But hey, mm-hmm. they know what works. Uh, Jonathan Nagy, how's it going, Top Pop? Doing well, doing well. Oh, not so bad. Not so bad. We're up to 425. Yeah, Elias, we are. Check out the number on the board and the dog tag machine. Do we have it yet? Yes, I have the dog tag machine. I get up to speed on it. Here's another thing is second class citizen, 2CC is a legitimate 501C. And you guys out there, if you're like in a union or in a company that takes out a portion of your pay and, and sends it to a charity of your choice, Look Look up my 501C and send the money there. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm surprised people aren't doing that. And, and like, they're, they're sending it to United Way, which is all about destroying the Boy Scouts and all for the, the loose gay but twerking queer people. <laughs> I mean, what? I'm, t- I'm trying to keep dudes from blowing off the back of their heads with a fucking shotgun. That's important. Or driving into walls at over 100 miles an hour. Or just finding new creative ways to exit their meat suits. Yeah. Don't turn yourself into a crash test dummy over a piece of slot C, gentlemen. It never goes well. There's no piece of ass worth that, man. No. Smooth criminal. Funny all this internet crap has been happening since Obama lifted the net neutrality. Now all these companies think they can do whatever they want. Well, yeah, it's a never-ending circle jerk, and the government loves it. They will even pass legislation on behalf of these big tech companies so that they can basically outsource their oppression of you to private companies. Isn't that amazing? That's exactly what's happening. Because they can't directly violate the Constitution, the companies can. Because my private company, right? And leftoids are even making excuses for it. Ten years ago, they would have been up in arms over it. Oh, yeah. Ah, smell the hypocrisy. (laughs) Smells like fish and bad decisions. It does. How was your ex, by the way? Allegedly? Allegedly. I have no idea. I just I don't care. She left her shirt at my place the other night. Oh, my God. <laughs> Big Viz 497. Look at how despicably Russian Americans are treated now. Believe or Makes me believe this country would round up Jays in a heartbeat if the right people told them. Yeah. If Listen, if you're all about masks and all these vax mandates, you're the motherfucker who has the mentality that would narc out Anne Frank and send her to the death camp. Yep. That, that's you in a heartbeat. And then you've got flaming idiots like George Takei coming out and saying that all of us need to make do with less, not his millionaire ass. He's the one, He's like a flaming leftoid, always votes Democrat, and yet can't seem to remember that he spent time in a Japanese internment camp at the end of a leftoid socialist. You want to talk about hypocrisy? Holy shit. Pushing buttons on a fake television set does not make you a scientist. Keep your mouth shut unless there's a dick in it. Damn! That's a good rant right there. I like just that. saying. The Violator. Tim Cast IRL just went live. U.S. just admitted to biolabs in Ukraine. Told ya! We told you, and the guy from InfoWars called it out like four years ago. Is anyone shocked? Anyone shocked? Are you shocked? No. I didn't think so. Mm. No one here is shocked. 
Uh, Deep Purple. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't finish the rest of that there. They fear that Russia might take them. Conspiracy theory proven true again. Yeah. It's amazing how that works. The difference between a conspiracy theory and a fact. Uh, well, if you're Alex Jones, three to five years. Uh, but lately, though, since 2020 hit, three to five months. Mm-hmm. Uh, Deep Purple 1987, do you think that Putin will actually stop after taking Ukraine nope. and or getting their demands met with NATO? No. 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 He's, he's going to, what he'll do is he'll take the Ukraine and then a lot of people are going to die because that's what he does. That's You're going to Ru- die. Russians are really good at doing that historically. Oh, you got to do it. What? Someone's, Someone's going to die. die. <laughs> no. Yeah. And then uh, he's going to set up and do it again. Or he will get all of the information that he needs on Biden, and then you have you literally have a Russian puppet in the White House and a Chinese puppet. Wow! They're gonna be over here yanking his strings left and right. God damn the marionette and fucking chief. Yep. And then while Jill is wiping his butt, don't worry, I'm a real life boy. Mm. Ice so cream dis- slurping son of a bitch. That's so disturbing when you do that. <laughs> God damn you. I'm sorry. No, you're not. No, I'm not. Uh, the Violator with a $10 donation. Also, as an independent contractor courier, I'm wondering how gas prices are going to, how high they're going to get before companies can no longer afford Ten deliveries. Bucks. Prices are going to go up daily to try and match gas prices. 10 bucks. Yep. We're getting fucked. 10 bucks. When it gets to 10 bucks, then shit's really going to go into overdrive. Yep. Because that is, that. Yeah, you're you're going to fuck the economy hard that way. Yep, and I we call Biden a failure uh-huh. because he is, as the leader of the president of the United States, he is a failure. As an installed puppet of the people who are in charge of him, he is succeeding brilliantly because what was he put in to do? He was put in to undo all of the work and all of the progress that the lower and middle classes gained under Trump. Why? Because people with upward mobility don't vote Democrat. That's absolutely correct. Fuck him! Fuck him in the asshole with a big rubber dick! Mm. Thumper the sweaty fat guy, I emailed you, you bastard. Watched a Netflix show this week called Contagion, made in 2011. Yep, Steven Saw Soderbergh, it. good movie. It. it was good. It was I good. had to double check that it wasn't made last year because it's so accurate to the propaganda. Yep. Yeah, that was like the number one streaming title on every service when all this broke out. Ohio Trucker 1, Grinder is about as useless as a master electrician on a job site. <laughs> what? What is Grinder anyway? Grinder? Is that the, is that a dating app? <laughs> Sounds like a home. Oh, oh Grinder. 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 Okay. Uh, autocorrect problem. Okay. Uh, Miru Eller with a $50 super chat. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Look up the song Collective Consciousness from Metal Gear Rising, and it sounds like the Democrat theme song. Some of the lyrics are, The unenlightened masses can't make the judgment call. Give up free will forever. Your voices won't be heard at all. That's absolutely correct, and that's why we have the Second Amendment. Because when they don't listen to your voice, they'll listen to your bullets. (laughs) The Violator says, Blake, it was great seeing you in the Batman as the Riddler. I don't think I look anything like Paul Dano, but hey, I'll take it. That's a scary a com- fucking Riddler. That'd be a good comedy skit. Did you uh, see it? Uh, your facial structure. I, if you, uh, you know, if you shaved, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm way more baby faced when I shave. I'll yeah, agree with if you that. shave, I mean, you know, I, I think I could I could see it. Yeah, Paul Dano hasn't aged in fifteen. Well, actually, that was there will be blood. Was the first time I saw him. He was like twenty years old. He still looks like he's that age. You know, I ran into one of my old soldiers at the Dan's Diner where I eat every now and again. Yeah. And he comes down, he sits in front of me, and I don't know who he is. He goes, he's like, hey, Pop, how you doing? I'm like, yeah. And I'm looking at him like yeah. I don't recognize him. And he's like, Pop, it's me, Bird. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. You know, I, he, I mean, he was one of my soldiers back in like 2008, not, no, 9, 10, 11-ish. Yeah. And he's just like, you haven't fucking aged a day. And I'm like, hey, you know. Sit over here and block the sun because you know. <laughs> <laughs> he just started laughing. If you didn't dye your hair, I would be. I would look old because my hair is white now. And if you could grow the beard, no, no. And I actually I dyed it today too. See, yeah, yeah. It's no longer red. Yeah, you dyed it and you cut it. Should dye it. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. <laughs> we all should. Yeah. 
Uh, Tex Bolivar, Azov Battalion, trained by the CIA, likely to perform a false flag in USA as an excuse for a crackdown on guns, patriots, and nationalists. Nothing would surprise me anymore. Nope. No, it wouldn't. Would not shock me at all. Sam Whiskey. Pop, have you seen the Russian military parade? It's very masculine. Mm-hmm. Oh, is it as masculine as uh, as the girl who was raised by two moms in the cartoon? I don't think so. No. no. <laughs> actually, I, I watched part of that, and they uh, they stopped the parade, and they actually brought out a guy who was a sergeant in World War II onto his balcony, and they did a pass and review as like a division and a half of soldiers walked by. So oh, like, nice. Which is fucking, that's pretty, that's pretty outstanding. That's El Snow's Pop, don't think of chugging a Neapolitan milkshake with a Starburst drinking straw after enjoying some munging with rigs. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible man. Stop! <laughs> oh, right through the hands. Bastard. Yes, I am. Uh, Matt Wilson from Australia, $2.20 yeah, $2. a liter for petrol. Gas here in Sydney, Australia, one eighty five a liter for diesel. Mm -hmm. Right in the butt. Yep, it, it topped $4 only a few days ago, and it's just kept right on yeah, track. Yeah, I'm at, what, 409 today? Yep, that's per gallon, of course, not liter. Yeah, it's what there's, what, 3.2 liters per gallon, something like that? Yeah. Yeah, you kind of already touched on this, but uh, El Snows wants to know, based on what we know about the war in Ukraine, what can you say about Russian army doctrine, tactics, and logistics? Okay, um, they thought they were going to get a free ride here. No, oh, I shouldn't say free ride. They thought it was going to be a lot easier than they uh, than it is, yeah. and they were trying to do what the American Army does, which we're really good at, which is the lightning advance. And you're supposed to have all of like the Air Force and the Navy and all of the different parts working together. That didn't happen at all, and they've taken a lot of losses. And I'm sure that there's a lot of people in charge that are telling Putin what, what he wants to hear because the reality on the ground is really bad. It's This is like, uh, you've heard of the Operation Market Garden. It's a World War II op where we basically tried to go up to Holland and we jumped in. And they had built a plan about running everyone up this fucking road to get in there. And it, it just caused all kinds of pandemonium because if you go off that road... You are stuck in the fucking mud. And they have hundreds of vehicles stuck in the fucking mud. And on top of having no fuel and running out of, like, all the shit they need, I mean, who the fuck? What the fuck do I know? What's up? Oh. Oh, no, we, oh. Had, a, uh, oh, yeah. we had an issue. Somebody noticed on the chat on YouTube as they said they that I, they guess I wasn't looking at rumble but rumble apparently had frozen on my screen and i didn't see any of the donations i did a reload and now i've got three so we'll okay. skip over there real quick we got 708 watching over on rumble all right you guys are awesome rumbles where it's at uh white line fever 13 hey blake go to the redonkulous 12 email send info on kick messenger could bad for minor who use it yeah yeah because on meetme.com that. that messenger is being used a lot yeah, it's a it's an open source uh, text messenger. Yes, and uh, it's free. I myself, it's a little on the older side. Yeah, I've already I've already watched it. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm yeah, CG Roberts wants us to know about the Brittany Griner scenario that it is five to fifteen years in prison for possession with an unlimited cash fine in Russia. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. And he sent us a whole lot of butts that you're probably going to see on Thursday. I like it. Yeah. yeah. Because new tech does get the There's better side boob in there. Yeah, there is. Uh, we got Wayward Scholar <laughs> with a donation over on Rumble. Good evening, gentlemen. Finally caught you in time. Thank you very much for the $10 donation. And White Line Fever again. Workers are using it to chat on meetme.com. Yeah, you might want to avoid that because that's how you're going to get yourself a butt worm. And if, <laughs> if you're one of the stunning and brave people, you're going to get an ass worm. Yeah. yeah the more popular that. dating sites become, the more STDs get oh, spread okay. via those meetups. So plenty of fish used to be the STD capital of the internet. Now it's Tinder. Now it's Tinder. Oh, Ugh. Stosher with a donation on Rumble. I heard rumors vets' phones are blowing up trying to get them to rejoin. One guy said he even got a DM on Instagram. Is this true? Yes, it is. 
It is. Um, the, the military is not meeting their numbers because of all this vax mandate and all of the removing the benefits for being in the military. The last benefit that they are offering that's worth a damn is the GI Bill. And if they do the student loan forgiveness, there's no point to going in the military anymore. They're going to have to start constrict, um, drafting people. Yep. And if you guys haven't seen the Lair video from Sunday, drafting Generation Z is not going to go super well. So oh, check that okay. one out. I've had a couple of comments here now. Let me get this straight. <laughs> oh, here we go. <clears throat> All right. This is how it works. <laughs> if the world goes to shit and they need you for the military, and you're within the ages of 18 to 26, you're going to get a number. And if they pull that number out of the hat, how that works, I have no idea. Guess what? You're going to fucking war. And you're not going to pick where your job is. You're not going to get to pick where your duty station is because you're going to fucking war, and they don't fucking care because you're 100% expendable. Oh, you don't want to go? Prison for you. Is it fair? No, it's not. Fairness is something created by humans. It doesn't exist in the universe. So fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> See, now I'm going to fucking start. I, I knew that was going to happen. That's why I just sat back and enjoyed the ride. Hey, hey Blake, get this. What do you got there? Oh, okay. All right. Hey, man, don't, don't judge me. Pop is sharing his girlfriend. Don't this is the closest. Yeah, we're I brought get. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the closest we're going to get to seeing Pop in a three-way. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey! Stop it! <laughs> You're going full finger cuffs on your girlfriend, Pop, <laughs> and she's shaped like a dick. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> between her, between her, Brittany Griner and Big Mike. Oh, it's a whole plethora of gender dysphoria in here. Hey, look, man, we'll just drink it. <laughs> oh, now, Joe Rogan, they smoke dope. On my show, you drink. Hey, you know, we don't have to worry about the FAA on television, you know, trying to find people for doing, you know, booze and smoking or whatever. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to pay no fine. Fuck you. Red bastards. Mm -hmm. uh, couldn't quite see the glass as you reached over. That's oh. why I was kind of like coating back and forth trying to see what was going on. But it's it's, it's nice when you Clandestine. Kind of like sneaking uh, MiG jets into Ukraine. <laughs> 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 no one will ever catch it. No, no yeah, Never. Never. No, they're looking over here, right? Wherever here is. Oh, there's a squirrel. Yeah, look over here while I'm grabbing the titty. Yeah, yeah. You look at look at Biden's kill list of the stunning and brave BIPOCs and limp gay butt twerking queers. Yeah, oh my god. Which totally exists, by the way. Totally not wartime propaganda. Oh no, none of that. Yeah. Did I miss? Yes. Ah. Now it's mine. Bastard. <laughs> Triggers McNickers, how you doing, good sir? Has there been an oil embargo placed on Russia yet? I heard no so far. We'll if, see. If not, then that is highly suspect. But I did hear that Russia is planning on cutting off Nord Stream 1 to Germany. And now they're panicking because it turns out Donald Trump, Trump was, was right. right. <laughs> yeah, Trump was right. Can't admit that in the media, though. No, that's never going to happen. No, no. Uh, did you hear that uh, the U.S. is... Going to places like Iran and Venezuela yes, to get our that. oil back. Like, yeah, like like this will never backfire. Like that that's that's a great. Yeah, yeah. He heaven so forbid stupid. we reopen the Keystone Project. Yeah. You know, use our <laughs> own fucking oil. Yeah, but go back to uh, how things were under Trump uh, when gas was a buck eighty a gallon uh, and and shelves were full. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, my kingdom for a dollar eighty gas, full shelves, and a mean tweet right now. I'm just saying. Yep. Oh, fuck's sakes. Uh, what is your opinion? Well, you actually already mentioned this earlier, so we can, we'll can read it, but we can move right on. What's Pop's opinion on Russians not maintaining vehicles, letting their tires rot, and that's why they have to drive on roads versus cross terrain? <laughs> well, there's that, and this this time of the year is a fucking nightmare, because yep. the same thing happened during World War II. Yep. You know, Hitler and his army invading, the you know, basically going into Russia. Once it started to warm up, it was literally trying to drive through four feet of fucking mud good times all right sorry all right crusader nate oh no for all the people who have not yet hit the like button this is for you <laughs> oh god i hate this one. Oh god <laughs> <laughs> So fucked up. 
That's just nightmare fuel right there. Man. Hillary's I, face deep faked onto some thought. <laughs> Horrible. Like I, I remember seeing some pictures of her like in the early seventies, and I wouldn't even like like she she was the kind of woman you'd have to drink like probably eight beers to bring her to a seven. And Big Willie wrote a check against him. Yeah, he's a stupid idiot. Ugh. Uh, C.G. Roberts email. Yep, I already read that one earlier. Thank you very much for that little bit of info. Appreciate it. George D. Dugoid uh, with a dollar donation. Thank you. Ken with a $10 donation. Am I the only one who sees Russia slash Putin as the last bastion of defense against the NWO and World Economic Forum agenda? Uh, in all reality, it's America, which is going to be the last line of defense. And there's an argument to be made that that has fallen. Correct. Big time. I, I'm not going to say you're wrong. Uh, after the ice cream social in 2020, uh, just look around you. Yeah. This is what failure looks like. Everything the, the orange man bad said is coming true. Yep. Irish lover 7745 uh, for the $20 donation. In the voice of Dr. Hannibal Lecter, I once hooked up with you. I once hooked up with your ex, and now we're allegedly Eskimo brothers, Pop. I might, I can't do a Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck with that. Yeah, that's all I can say now, because that woman is she's banana pudding doubt. Yeah, I hope you're not someone who likes to pick at scabs. Yeah, it's not a good deal. No. Dick's going to look like a dragon fruit. No. <laughs> I mean, I was, in, I was oh, in, picturing it. I was in family court Don't in what? 20, 2019, 2020. <laughs> I think it was 2019. And like she came in and literally it looked like her skin was hanging off of her. She's just Good. all fucked up now. That's what happens, man. Uh, George DeGuide or DeGuide uh, with another dollar donation. Thank you very much. If you're putting comments in there, Nice. They are being deleted by Suzy Q. Just wanted to let you know. Uh, Michael Simmons, did y'all know that you can still buy hard tack? Yes. And you can make it. It's really easy. Excellent. You just got to bake it three times. Bake it till you make it. Uh, Keith Peterson, the last time I paid $20 for gas, she shot out a couple of ping pong balls. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> that is fucked up. <laughs> All right, all right, we can go with that. Right. Uh, if I saw that shit, I'd be like, oh, God. No, thank you. I this is you. why I don't go to Shake It Clubs. Adriano Ramos. Uh, all major cities are encircled. Major cauldron formed in the east, trapping the main Ukraine army. What are you talking about, Pop? Well, um, the thing is, is the Ukrainian army is using a Soviet style of defense. They're going to make Russia pay dearly for every meter of land that they take over. And, that, I mean, that's just the way it is. Yep. I mean, those guys, like, I don't know what Russia was thinking because Ukraine was part of the USSR and their officers and, and, and training. And, I mean, that is how they're taught. It's not rocket science. Nope. But, yeah, I mean, that's exactly what's happening. They're making the Russians pay dearly for everything that they have. And so far, it has been working out because they have really fucked up the supply lines of Russia. And Russia is basically going to have to make a – they're adjusting on the fly. Yep. Yeah, their op order failed, and now they're, they're basically invading a country on a frago, which is a fragmentary order. And for those in the military knows what that is, I'm not going to go into it. Gotcha. Uh, we got uh, Ramarine on Rumble with a $20 donation. On Fresh and Fit, they talked to Coach Red Pill in Ukraine. He talked about the Russian military being better than the U.S. Is he full of shit? Uh, well, let's see. Um, when you're dealing with conscripts, no. The conscripts that they have are not that good. Um, when you go, like, the way the Russian army works is you, can, you, you get cons conscripted, and then if you want to stay in and make it a career, they move you to other units. And some of those other units are really damn good. Like the Spetsnaz, those are fucking, those guys are, are creepy as fuck. <laughs> They're really good. And then they have actual, like, frontline units that are not conscripted that are very good, too. The problem is, is they don't have a lot of them. A majority of their stuff is con conscript. And, you know, listen, 
God bless the conscripts. They're showing up to do their deal, but they are not motivated. So that means you're going to get 60% effort out of them. Because you can make any you can make anyone do anything you want, but if you break them, they will do it neither well nor fast. Yep, you can make them act, but you can't make them care. That's right. If you don't care, then guess what? You want them to go fucking five clicks? They're going to go one, and they're going to say, "Yeah, hey, we couldn't do five. We're taking fire." Yeah, and that's why the U.S. should never have a draft. Well, right, because if you have a draft. You're actually going to we. You're better off fighting with ten thousand motivated people than well, fifty thousand well, people. When you get into big wars, that's not necessarily true. I've seen the plan that the U.S. Army has, and literally they'll draft people, and then they're going to basically pull NCOs and officers from the active, and put them in charge of the of the conscripts or the draftees, and it, then it's you know that might make it a little better, but usually if you have a unit of people who are not motivated just want to do their time and get out, they're not going to do dynamic shit for you, ever. <laughs> All right, next chat here on Rumble, we got Aflon07. I, for one, love and welcome our soon-to-be non-woke overlords. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far. Uh, Jimmy Bones, hey, Blake, you going to share that Urban Dictionary rig sent you? If you do, it's just a heads-up, gentlemen. It's oh, no. bad. Uh, you know what? I'll share it Thursday. Yeah. Because it doesn't really go along with tonight. But Thursday, Thought Thursday, oh, hell yeah. Why the hell not? Uh, jumping over to YouTube again here, we got uh, Dung is Fun. They can draft these salty nuts. Yeah, listen, a lot of people are like, I'll never, I will never fight this country. I'll yeah. never get fucking drafted. Guess what? You have <laughs> never had the boot of an entire country on your fucking neck. All right. And now listen, even if you get drafted, doesn't mean it's going to be terribly bad for you. It just means you have no control what happens to you. Yep. It's one of those male privileges that we hear so much about. Now, so if I'm going to be honest, if we get to a situation and you start hearing about the draft and you're within that age group, go enlist, pick your poison. Because guess what? You can be an HVAC guy on a Navy ship. And you're not going to be eating beans and bullets and having to crawl through the mud and worry about getting rocketed and shelled at every fucking turn. Boom. Uh, CB750 with a $20 super chat. What's Pop's view on the Russians not maintaining their equipment? We already did this one. <laughs> well, it's, it's absolutely blatant. They are not. The conscripts have not maintained their equipment. That's the third question like that. Well, it's, it's totally true. Yeah, well, we appreciate the donation. Yeah, they're, they're not maintaining it. It is really funny watching them drive but around I, with those things. Because it was sitting in a huge depot for two fucking years. And they didn't do shit with their equipment. Now, listen. Th I'm going to give you a story here. All right. This happened to me hundreds of times. Okay. All right. So I, my unit is going to be rolling out for a, like a three-week operation. I have everyone come in, stage their vehicles, do the primary inspections to make sure everything's squared away, line their vehicles up with all the equipment ready to go. And all I have to do is come in the next day and get in their vehicles and roll out. And guess what? The stuff was 100% that night. In the morning, you're, you're going to have fucking transmissions blow out, brake lines quit working, headlights stop working, window wipers no longer. It, it's fucking Murphy on steroids. And imagine that happening to an entire fucking army with three, uh, almost 300,000 fucking people. I'm surprised we have anything going bad here in America because Murphy and Whitey and the man are so busy over there fucking the Russians. <laughs> ah, okay. Sorry. In the butt. That was a rant. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're entitled. Uh, Thumper the Sweaty Fat Guy. Answer, yes. Send email. I'll have to bring you guys some sweaty fat guy vodka. It's moist, and it burns your eyes out. The two words that piss off women. Yep. <laughs> no and moist. <laughs> it's all planned. I knew it in 2006. Yep. Uh, we're going to have him on the show and do a whole prepper stream for you guys by popular request. Uh, cross stuff with a $5 donation. Thank you very much. Dung is fun. Blake, every time you throw a straw at Pop and he returns fire, is that an act of war? No. No. no that just, one time I was just, getting pissed because he hit me in the eye. Yeah, I know. Hey, you know, better with this than... Yeah, I, oh my God. It's like that one call on the 311 lines in New York, people getting pissed off at their neighbors having loud sex, and the guy's like, he's beating 
his meat on the dude's fat Latin butt cheeks with the bazooka chips and the wind. I mean, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. And for the record, no, I'm never going to do that. Don't bother asking. I don't care how much you donate. It's not, bastards. It's not happening. No. Uh, Big Dan in L.A. sent you an email with a YouTube video to watch. Yes, it is subtitled, but so I don't think we're going to watch it on the stream, but I'm going to double check here and see how long How it long is, is it? Yeah, do, don't know. Uh, uh, age restricted. Age restricted. It's not like I don't have a YouTube channel. What the fuck? Oh, it's an hour long. Yeah, we're definitely not watching that on the stream, but I appreciate it. I went ahead and I put a star on the email so that you know to watch it later, Pop. All right. Winning. All right. We need to move on to our subjects here because, you know, everybody loves gas. And by the way, thank you. Big shout out thank you to the guy who sent us an envelope full of the I did that stickers where Joe Biden points at the uh, gas pump of your choice. Apparently, there's a bunch of gas station owners all over the country who are getting pissed. They have to remove these stickers five to six times a day. And I say, keep doing it. Yeah, I've run out of stickers. Send more. Thank you. Yes. Oh, here we go. It happened. I mean, literally, this was the article... Monday when you and I did our our prep meeting for this stream. So yesterday, this was the article, this was the story. Average U.S. price tops $4 a gallon for first time since 2008, and it could go even higher. Less than 24 hours later, boom. Gas prices hit new all-time U.S. record at 411 per gallon. Thank you, Joe Biden. All right, we got to take a break. I got to piss. Okay. Here we go. Deep fakes. It's been an hour and ten minutes. Do you feel better, Pop? I do. You <laughs> feel so much better. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I'd... So you already went through all of your stickers? Yeah. For the... Nice. Nice. Oh. Did you get any over there? I I have not. I've just found out about them, uh, I think, like two days ago. Oh, really? Yeah. You're behind I, I, I don't. Uh, I, I don't buy gas that often. You know, working from home, I have uh, people who kind of... You know, Help I do you favors out. for them. They do favors for me, and I kind of I'm like that. I'm the guy in the chair. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. Uh, I can't read this verbatim, but it's pretty apt. Gas prices went up ten cents since this morning. Uh-huh. Uh, ice cream socials have consequences. Stolen ice cream socials have catastrophic consequences. I got something to say. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All of you leftoid, commie, pinko, faggot, Democrat, socialist motherfuckers out there who stole the ice cream social and didn't like Orange Man because he's bad, I hope you fucking enjoy the bullshit that you fucking brought on, and I hope you fucking suffer, fuckers. All right. Like I said, have have you ever seen 81 million people go from being so happy to being so fucking quiet? Mm-hmm. 
what gas is ten dollars a gallon and yeah. that's gonna be pretty much the yeah. breaking point point. and when 40 million of those people are dead i mean that probably helps with the whole yeah, yeah. thing yeah i don't think really think they're gonna be stirring the pot anytime soon just mm. saying and, and then there was that one who's like a hundred and one year old woman who's been at a who's been bedridden, hasn't left or Her been conscious of anything. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and somehow she uh, g- delivered a scoop of ice cream. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've I've read that story. It's good times. Yeah, yeah. And then, oh, no, 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 there, there was a guy that uh, supposedly filled out the ice cream social forms who was in a coma for four years. Yeah, nothing to see here. No, nothing to see here. That right. that's a conspiracy theory. Gotcha. Conspiracy theory. But, oh, hang on. Oh, oh. Oh. Ah, as we all know, we said it before, the only difference between a conspiracy theory and reality is about three to five months. Yeah. And, or if you're Donald Trump, uh, every fucking time you open your mouth, Nostra Donald, Trump predicted in 2020 that gas under Biden would rise to seven, eight, and nine dollars. And we're well on our way. If you guys haven't seen the clip, let's check it out. That stupid thing. It wasn't playing the audio. I'm going to replay this for you guys. Sorry about that. For some reason, we were hearing it. You weren't. We have more oil than anybody. Boomer moment. Okay? And <laughs> it's uh, an incredible thing that have, it's happened over the last there few we years. Go. A lot of great things. And you're paying, what, $2 a gallon for your gasoline? That's okay. You know what that's like? That's like a tax cut. That's bigger than a tax cut. If Biden got in, you'd be paying $7, $8, $9. Didn't they say, get rid of your car? Prices at some local gas stations, they're way above the average. Well, across the street from the Beverly Center, one of the most expensive places in L.A., drivers are paying next, in LA. nearly $7 for regular unleaded, nearly $8 for premium. Drivers said they were surprised and not in Are you su- You're really, really a bunch of California stand liberals getting taxed within an inch of their lives. You're surprised? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, and I hope you get what you fucking deserve. All right. Uh, we need that meme from Joker. You get what you fucking deserve. Yeah. Mm. And, and of course, what did he say at the very end there? They say, get rid of your car. Mm-hmm. Booty judge basically said the exact same shit today. I don't have that video, but oh my lanta, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> yeah, that whole Buddha judge, that guy is really annoying me. Yeah, well, we can't, we can't reopen Keystone. That's not going to help fast enough. But you know what we can do? We're going to invest in green energy because that's totally going to help right now. No, it's not. <laughs> People don't talk about this, and leftoids don't understand it because they don't understand economics. Consumer confidence and speculation are two of the main things that drive an economy. So if Biden were to come out and t- tomorrow and say, "Look, I fucked up. We're gonna we're gonna deregulate the oil industry. We're gonna reopen Keystone. I'm sorry. Prices would would have a precipitous drop almost immediately, and it would continue to drop because it would renew consumer confidence and speculation would drive those prices down. Futures it's- market would just do its magic. Yeah. Yep. And right now, it's doing the magic against us. That's that's the that's the thing that really blows. Yeah. Well, as soon as he took office, things started taking his shit because people knew that he was not going to run this country well. well. He's not even running the country. No, he's not. There are so many hands up his ass. He's a sock puppet for I don't even know who. Ugh. And this is this. We're going back to Ukraine mm-hmm. on this one. This is hilarious. Right, here we go. Here we go. Jen Psaki was asked why we are still importing Russian oil as it finances their war effort. Her answer, well, it's only about 10% of what we're importing. Okay. I- I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a pop here just for a second. There we go. In case you didn't know, that's bad. 
We used to be the net exporter of oil, completely energy self-sufficient, and we had more than enough to go around to all the other countries. And what were we paying? Buck fifty a gallon, buck sixty a gallon. All of that changed in less than a year because of deregulating the, because of re-regulating all of those regulations that Trump pulled out. Ugh. They just added something too, actually, with. Uh I guess with the, the way they ship natural gas, uh-huh. they've just added new requirements. Like before, you could ship natural gas, you know, by boat, whatever. Um, the, there's new rules on that, so it's harder. Uh. So, so things you used to be able to do with natural gas, you can't do anymore. Yeah. More yeah. hoops of fire to jump. Yeah, yeah. Yes. it's good stuff. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, because we got to have the green lefties on our side in the elections. You already lost them when you denied their student loan forgiveness. I am so sick and tired of this. This is not going to do a damn thing. I am so sick and tired of those crybaby leftoids who have no shit. idea how the real world works. Listen, if you fall out of a vagina or if you're born here... In any way, shape, or form, guess what? Nothing is fucking free, and everything requires effort to live. Yep. And you sitting around going, well, they should be taking care of me. I shouldn't have to do that. <laughs> Forgive me for my mistakes. Pay my fucking bill. Shut the hell up! <laughs> God damn it. How pathetic is this administration? Seriously. I mean, we know that the guy in charge is not even really the guy in charge. And when he directly causes a problem, and we're financing it on both sides, we're going to get to that in just a minute, he could easily alleviate the problem if he wasn't trying to cater to a voting base that already doesn't give a fuck that he even exists. Instead, we're going to import more, uh, more oil from the Iranians. Yay! That's yeah, that's exactly what we need. Yeah. White House rejects the idea of boosting domestic oil production to lower gas prices. Why? To get a bunch of votes that he either already has in his pocket because these people think Orange Man bad, therefore all conservatives bad. Or they're just going to stay the fuck home because we want student loan forgiveness and free shit. I mean, you're not it, giving it to us. If he keeps doing what he's doing, you're going to have the East Coast and the West Coast... And everyone in the middle is going to not play anymore. And the East Coast and Left Coast are, are not going to be able to communicate or travel between the, through the country. Yep. And then you're fucked. Then you're fucked. You remember the last time we had a great recession was when crude oil prices hit $150 a gallon, if you remember correctly. Yep. Crude oil prices rose as high as $130.50 a barrel Sunday evening. So we're well on our way. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and Listen, yet they it, still keep lying. It's already it's already happening. The snowball is already rolling down the hill, and they are not going to be able to stop it. Ugh. Not with what they're doing now. No, and, and look at the lies here. Jen Psaki, when it comes to U.S. energy production and how we achieve energy security, which you don't have because you fucked it, it's important to look at the facts. One, production is up, rising, and approaching records. No, it's not. Yet Russia's actions still leave our consumers vulnerable. This is going to be the new line for as long as this conflict goes on. Yep. Completely forget about the fact that we've had economic troubles since the moment this fucking Richard Potato took office. Absolutely correct. They're going to expect you to forget. And, and, and those of you who don't forget, you're expected to have cognitive dissonance because my partisanship. Absolutely correct. <laughs> and I actually saw the other day that the production uh, in 2020, with all the lockdowns, with everything shut down, there was still more uh, barrels of oil out of the U.S. under Trump with all the lockdowns than there is under yep. Biden in 2021. Uh, and so the, it's, so it's, it's, uh, it's, it, it, it couldn't be more clear. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And look at the gall of this stupid bitch. The only way to protect U.S. over long term is to become energy independent. Oh. You mean like we used we to be? We already were! We were! You took it away. You directly attacked the energy sector, re-regulated everything to fucking shit, and this is where it got us. Oh, my God. This is making me so... We're doing exactly what the Germans did. The Germans are really smart. Right? And they're, they're good at shit. I mean, they're good at making things work. They tried to go all green, and now look at them. They're fucked. Yep. They're more fucked than we are. Their heating bills this winter are ridiculous. Yep. You know, and then the whole Russia thing, and yeah, this is... Green These energy. people do not care about about normal human beings who are worrying about, you know, not freezing it. Yeah. Yep. They're already trying to blame the inflation numbers for February on Russia. 
and Russia didn't attack until like the end of the month. <laughs> what the fuck? And th that's going to be the line going forward. We're just going to blame everything for the last year and some change on Russia, even though they had nothing to do with it. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, and there's going to be people out there stupid enough to believe it. That's the sad part. I mean, 81 million scoops of ice cream isn't the accurate amount, but there was enough people to cause a problem. Enough real people who aren't, you know, dead or in a coma. I got gotcha. you. Just saying. And we were talking before about how, you know, if we're still accepting oil from Russia, we're financing their war effort, despite the fact we're allegedly condemning them. Absolutely right? correct. Even though people in the White House are just two tits to the sky, three sheets to the wind, happy as fuck that this is happening because it's distracting from all of their failures. They love it. They love that Ukrainians are dying. Well, listen, um, when I've always, look, how many times have I said this? You can't hide the fucking numbers. And guess what? You, you could have the, you could pay all the media off. You could do whatever the fuck you want. But when people go to the pump and they're paying 120 fucking dollars for 12 gallons of gas, you could fuck off. Yes, you can. That's the numbers. <laughs> oh. Uh, Son of a bitch. Ugh. Are you getting fucked with here? Yeah, Statistista's fucking with me. I had, I had a source all lined up for this, but uh, you guys will be able to see it briefly while I reload the page in a little while. Mm -hmm. Bottom line, we're still accepting oil from Russia mm -hmm. instead of exercising the energy independence that we used to have not even two years ago. And China is financing Russia's war engine. Mm-hmm. U.S. imports from China for 2021. Here you go. China is the leading maritime importer for the United States by an impressive margin, accounting for 42% of all goods shipped to the U.S. We need to stop that. Yeah. We need to be able to make our own shit, and we need to start tariffing the fuck out of some of these hostile fucking you know, countries. Yep. In fact... Cut them off completely. Yeah. If I ran the show, every fucking container ship coming from China would get turned around. I'd say, fuck off. And I would start pouring money into our economy so companies could build their own shit. That, so they don't need to fucking bring the shit from fucking China. Those motherfuckers have been juggling their their currency like Bozo the Clown. Yeah. And they, they're able to do that because they have billions of people that they can work to fucking death for almost nothing. Yeah. Mm. Red bastards. Let's see if I can actually get can this get to work really quick. I'm going to try it. Oh, they, they logged you out? Uh, well, no, I don't have an account on it. I'm trying to get the damn thing to, to work here, and it's being a piece of shit. Uh, oh, well. Just move on. Fuck yeah, it. fuck it. Yeah. I'm going to try We'll have it ready for next time. Well, I mean, it's. It, I was able to look at it yesterday. I don't know why the hell they're not letting me look at it now. But bottom line, and this was available on Statista until they decided to fuck us. Yeah. And you guys can look this up for yourself. The amount of money that the U.S. gives to China every year for, what was that, 42% of all the goods that are shipped to the U.S. every year mm -hmm. is half a trillion dollars. <laughs> wow. So five hundred billion. Five hundred billion dollars over that. Wow. Uh yeah. So once again, the US financing Russia's war effort by still buying oil from them when we could have just left Keystone alone and kept drilling and, and Biden didn't have to illegally sit on drill permits, which is exactly what he's doing. Absolutely correct. Um and then we're giving half a trillion dollars to China, and China is directly financing Russia's war effort as well. And yet somehow we're supposed to believe that Joe Biden and the leftoids and the shitheads up in Congress really care about Ukrainians. Okay, so I'm going to put this in grunt, grunt speak terms for you. What we're basically doing is stretching out our own fucking penis, sending it around the world to come out back the other side and hit <laughs> us in the ass. Yep. And then when they're done, we suck the tip. Yeah. You remember in Star Wars when Emperor Palpatine was, you know, he was the made the chancellor 
of the Imperial Senate and created a clone army. Yeah, yeah. And he was also the Sith Lord in charge of Count Dooku mm -hmm. and the Insurgency. Does that sound familiar to anybody? Yeah, actually. And yet our American media wants us to throw throw away everything we know, throw all of our support behind Ukraine, which, by the way, George Soros and Hillary also support, so that should let you know where your loyalty should lie. And we're going to just whitewash the U.S.'s involvement in all of it. Absolutely correct. Because, you know, it, it was it Russia that forced Ukraine to denuclearize with promise of help that never came? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> We convinced the Ukraine to give us all of their nuclear warheads in return for we will protect them if Russia ever fucking invades. Well, guess what's happening today? And oh, my God, the United States is not keeping their word. It's not like that's Shocker. never happened before to, let's say, uh, Poland. northern Iraq. The Poland, Kurds. yeah, Poland. Poland, Poland. World War II. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we make I mean, all these promises and we break them. Why do people keep doing business with us if we keep doing that? It's bullshit. It is bullshit. Keep our fucking word, for God's sake. <sighs> and maybe, you know, stop financing both sides of a war and using the media to convince stupid sheeple that we're the good guys. Mm. All right, so... Let's get through uh, some, some more super final chats. roll call here, some super chats, and then we're going to go over to New Tech and we're going to talk about some real repugnant shit. What's our roll call? Roll call over on Twitch. We got 103 currently watching. D Live 105. Rumble 779. Got a super chat over here on Rumble here. White Line Fever. What does Pop know about merchant marines? My father was in World War II and he was a mechanic. And I just want to find out something about it. The Merchant Marine job was a fucking nightmare for the first half of World War II. They've, they ran the, the gauntlet, and a lot of those guys got whacked by U-boats. Uh, and that was back when the danger, being in the fucking U.S. Navy was incredibly dangerous, and being in the Merchant Marines, who weren't even fucking armed, was ultra fucking dangerous. So my hat's off to you and your relative. That's fucking badass shit right there, and you should be proud. Boom. 222 on Odyssey, good sir. Mm -hmm. And 52 on MGTOW.TV. YouTube currently rocking 1,153. Oh, my God. Outstanding. Let's read some chats here. Jumping over to D Live. I want to give a big shout out and a we're, thank you to Drop to Hammer Now. We're just shy of 2,300. Hell yeah. With 20 lemons over there, we got Wiggle Wagon with 10 lemons and Dapper Sapper with 10 lemons. You guys are awesome. Keep the gift game strong. I see some Pepe in there. Awesome. Yeah, I want to see some tits on that. <laughs> I don't know if they could do tits, but they can do uh, some healthy cleavage and Asian ass. I'm totally cool with that. I've seen a lot of that as well. Uh, Asian ass is just Asian ass. It's all right. Yeah, sometimes it's uh, sometimes it's all right. Sometimes it's outstanding. That's like the Latin ladies, man. Yeah. Oh my God. I know those are your favorite. Mm. Uh, Ebb Tide, bondforthewin.com. Don't sue the board members. Go after their bonds. Okay. I'm going to be honest, uh, if this turns into a two-way rifle range and a lot of people wind up getting whacked, those people in those corporate boards that have been doing all this horse shit, it's my, it's my professional opinion that they should visit the end of a rope the hard way. Uh, that is how treason is supposed to be punished. Absolutely correct. I'm not saying we should be doing that or anything. Yes, I am. Uh, Francois Le Chatain with a $30 donation. Uh, good evening, dear Mr. Pop and the Herr Kleiner, as well as your legal counsel. Uh -huh. Well, I know I'm kind of stealing this from Mr. Larry Elder. The problem might be that most of us yet have to get fully acquainted with Brandonese. When the Richard Potato says, great economic performance, for instance, he really means to be speaking of an underwhelming economic situation at best. Mm -hmm. By the way, concerning that Big Mike Richard Potato salad of early on tonight, my reaction could be, brick. The French word for yuck. Well, what we have going on is we have a war being raged in this country against excellence. Yes. If you perform at above average or, dare I say, at a level of excellence, you are turned into a villain and everyone yep. fucking hates your guts. Why do you think they hate whiteness so much? That's right. We are the minority on the planet per capita. And we've also, and we're probably going to destroy the world. 
<laughs> Almost did it twice. Yeah. Just saying. Uh, Caleb on, random question. Have Popper Blake ever tried pickled vegetables other than cucumbers? Yes, I have. They're okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's now listen, all if you're starving you to fucking death, and all you have is four fucking mason jars of pickled broccoli and cauliflower, you'll eat the shit out of that. How yeah. do I know it? Because I've fucking done it. <laughs> Oh, man, Southern folks love them pickled sausages. I'm pretty sure they're the only reason why those things exist in Speedway gas stations. Yeah, if you're hungry, they're not that bad. Yeah, this is what it is. Uh, Jackal the Emperor, want to know how women pull off the painted on pants look? Check the redonkulous email. Ooh. Oh, this ought to be good. Here we go. Oh, let's check it Where's out. Where is pizza? it? Uh, Jackal. Let's see. Probably not going to. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's a video. Modern females are strange. Is it 33 seconds? It's 33 seconds. Let's we can just watch play it. it. Oh, she better not show her box. Fuck! In my first video like this, the pants definitely fit. Okay. They so fit. I don't... So, <laughs> so what you're seeing here is the inside view of what? the bump and grind shot before she walks out of the house. I don't even know this is for. <laughs> I don't know what's weird. All right. <laughs> okay, it's the frog, dude. Yeah, they, they do. They they pull on these pants. I mean, they practically, when they take them off, they have to roll them off. Yeah. It's like peeling Elmer's glue that's dried onto your fingers Why? when we were kids. Why would anyone do that? I have no idea. I don't know, you know man. it's running their blood pressure. Right? I, yeah, it's, it's so unhealthy. I yeah. mean, look, I, I as a, as a non-thin person, I mean, obviously, I, I would prefer loose clothes. Why women, like, insist on just, like, ah, I know. Because any time that they dress to go out in public, yeah. they are dick shopping. They Every... will insist that they're not, and they will shame you if you are the wrong type of attention that they don't want. But that's the truth. But if they pass out from blood loss to the brain because they, they've they got constricted clothing. I don't care. I don't I care. Mean, that's their karma. Yeah. What dick can you shopping. do? <laughs> dick that's shopping. That's a nice phrase. <laughs> Uh, sir, senior airman Dick Fitzwell, check the redonkulous email. All right, Ruba. here we go. Fitzy gets in trouble. Senior airman Dick Fitzwell fucked up again. You're fucking. Up. This is a. This meme is too small to see. Practically, you're fucking up by the numbers. Get your head out of your ass. Start digging a dummy hole. I'll be there soon to help you out. Now listen, uh, that was one of the punishments I used to do. Is I used to make guys who were doing stupid shit instead of. Instead of giving me Article 15s and putting negative paperwork in their file that would fuck their careers up. Because guess what? 90% of the military is between the ages of 18 and 24. They're just young and stupid. Yep. So if you do a, like stupid shit, instead of me putting paperwork on you, I'm like, hey, uh, you're going to have to dig me in a dummy hole, which is four by four by four. And then they would dig the hole, and I would have them write a letter to themselves saying how the stupid shit they should do, put it in the hole, and fucking bury it. And there was a couple times where I helped them. Like, uh, I had a whole bunch of soldiers who were getting screwed on their midterm leave in Iraq. And I literally was like, okay, you're on super secret probation. I'll make excuses for you. And the battalion commander would get visibility. And he goes, I want them punished. I would make them dig the dummy hole. I would come out with my own shovel, help them dig the dummy hole since I helped them fucking be late for, you know, I gave them super secret extensions on their mid tour leave. And we would drink. And, you know, and after we we're done, we'd bury the bottles. And that was it. That's how I did it. All right. Okay. We're going to do the last Odyssey chat here. And then we're going to try to rip through all these donations over on MGTOW.TV. There's nine of them. All right. Uh, Owl Dude. Putin is a proxy for smart, straight white males who apologize for nothing. That's why the woke hate him. Yeah. I'm totally cool with that. Yeah, he's a stand in for Trump. We don't have Trump anymore. They're still obsessed with him, but they can't really blame him for everything. They're trying, but it's failing miserably. Especially when all these videos are circulating about <laughs> him saying shit that's turned out to be absolutely right. Yep. Uh, fisting midgets, Blakey cheeks. Hey, Blake, for the she different, she loves me impression, it should be called the schmuck impression. What do you think? Uh, you know how many times I've heard that? I've oh, even yeah. said it myself when I was still blue pill thinking. Uh, oh, she's, different. she's good people. She's different. <laughs> she would never do that. She loves me. Guess what? I got onto a plane that would take off into the air. And by the time it was halfway to its destination, 
these women would have a dick in their ass and one in their mouth. Shocker. And that's just the way it is. True story. All right. Ass Blaster 2000. <laughs> Pop and Blake, I wish you a happy International Women's Day. Stop. Don't touch me there. No. This is my no no swear. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Never gets old. No. Never gets old. Uh, crazy uncle, did you guys get the face? You see the video of the gas prices clicking up in real time about 20 cents in less than 30 seconds? Holy shit. 20 cents in less than 30 seconds? Uh, well, what the fuck, uh, over? Well, the way the laws work in most of the states, if you pull up to a gas pump and, uh, you'll, you know, and there's the price right there and you start pumping, if they change the price while you're pumping, you get the price that it started with. And I, I've had to actually, I went back and forth with a couple of places over this. Eat. You don't just change the fucking prices willy nilly. Good times. I have paid as Pop had white hair. Has I have white hair. My <laughs> hair is fucking white. <laughs> he should not dye it and grow out a beard like Hammerhand instead of the pudgy Punisher. He would be a swigging Santa. I can't do it. <laughs> no, nah, I think yet. Hammerhand's already got that market corner. Yeah, he's got that. Uh, crazy uncle saw this in the news this morning. A Russian pilot was shot down and asked what, what he was told going into Ukraine. No shit. He was told he was fighting Nazis. I guess he doesn't realize he is fighting for the socialist government. Well, actually, they're both that way. Uh, let's be honest. <laughs> both. Oh, let's see. All the governments are corrupt, even our own. Zelensky did a lot of the same shit to get yeah, reelected that Putin did, and yet George Soros only throws his money and support behind one of them. Just remember that. Well, there are reports of uh, secret experiments being conducted on Yugoslavian soldiers. There's all kinds of horror stories about labs and all kinds of craziness. Yeah, that's we talked about them out. last week. So guess what? There is no black or white and if you're trying to turn this conflict into an issue of black and white, it's never going to work. It's all shades of gray. Yeah. No one is 100% right, and no one is 100% wrong. No. Now, if you want to know all about that, just go to the Israel Times or whatever that news site is of theirs and just search for Ukraine Nazis, and you'll find all that you need to know. Absolutely correct. Fisting midgets, Blakey Cheeks, you bastards. At Iapetus. Nah, bro. Pop should let his hair grow and do a man bun. Yeah. That is never going to happen. <laughs> never. Crazy Uncle again. I wonder how high fuel prices have to go before we start hearing how this hurts way even far more. Six dollars. Because the first things to stop is the additional costs, spicy content. Guys will have to go back to free content on the hub. Once the market is flooded, the price of Pousse will collapse worse than it already has. Mm -hmm. It's already not worth anything. Now that stinky seafood is going to go to pennies on the dollar. Yep. Liver damage. Gas prices are higher in California stand than they were in the apocalyptic movie I Am Legend. Yep. I sent you that meme. Yep. I sent you that meme. So absolutely that true. Me. Like, it was like six sixty three a gallon. Yep. And don't forget today's meme of the day. Mm. Remember when the leader of a Western country <laughs> jailed truck drivers and stole their money for disagreeing with him about a virus that magically no one cares about anymore? I support the current thing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what I see in my head every time I'm like, well, Russia's bad. Yeah, I understand. It's all gray, man. All of it's gray. I got you. Crew Ninja Double O, pop a two-way rifle range argument will we'll deal with all these useless people. Unfortunately, it needs to happen if this keeps going the way that it is. Darwin will be happy the law is being enforced. Uh, it's going to happen. I, I, I hope it doesn't, but my ESP is telling me shit's going to go down, especially... When they tank our economy and the whole world's fucked up, it's just going to get ugly. Mm -hmm. Cure Ninja Double O again. Pop, since idiot Biden is a puppet, I'm wondering who's the puppeteer and is pulling his strings. I'm thinking his chief of staff and certain big tech billionaires. Do you agree? Yes and no. There's more than one person pulling the strings. It's a cabal. Yeah. It sucks. Like, if I ran the show, there's that uh, a bunch of these big wigs get together at this... Uh, Grove thing. I'm trying to remember where it is. Um, what's his face from uh, Infowars tried to get in there? And they... Alex Jones. Mm -hmm. I would Moab that right in the middle of their crescendo when they're sacrificing human people, dancing around naked. <laughs> Boom! They're all gone. Fuck them. Bye. Yeah. It would work. Not saying it wouldn't. Ohio Trucker 1, I got diesel 190 proof grain alcohol. Oh. 
That's some good shit right there. Do it. Oh, God. Traveler 4444, today here in the People's Republic of California, Stan, I paid five eighty nine a gallon. What and the fuck? Guess what? And you got in your knees, and uh, they bounced their balls off your chin. Boing! Uh, not even going to try to pronounce that Polish name, Jason. What would happen to Russia if Putin gets axed? Well, if wo- Putin if Putin gets whacked, I am pretty sure they would probably stop what they're doing and withdraw and they would the, their demands would lower to the point where they get to keep Crimea because what most people don't know if Russia actually owns Crimea half of Crimea. the crime whatever you call it half of the oil rights for the entire Black Sea belongs to Russia because that's another thing that's happening is the Black Sea they have found all kinds of oil reserves that belong to you to the Ukraine and if they can capitalize on that and get the get the money for them for themselves, that makes them even more dangerous. Well, what's probably would happen though is that you'd have, in all likelihood, they would install a globalist puppet in there, and he would be just another World Economic Forum member, just like virtually all of the Western worlds. Mm-hmm. Biden, Trudeau, Xi Jinping, gotcha, uh, Merkel uh, in Germany, Macron. All of them are WEF members. Uh, it's not good. No. I'm just saying. No. And you know who's not on that list? Putin. Mm-hmm. So if he goes, his replacement will be... The scuttlebutt is a... he has cancer. I don't know if that's true or not. Who we'll knows? Uh, Michael Simmons, so ride and roast is turning into pedal and toast? Mm. Works for me. Well, we just did a ride and roast. Yes. Yeah. We're going to be releasing another one pretty soon. I'm almost done with the main bulk of the editing on administrative violence. That's what's been keeping me busy. Well, now listen, you work your ass off and you deserve time off. So I'm trying to keep a lot of <laughs> well, shit I'm off not, your plate. <laughs> time off? <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, I get time off? When? <laughs> I would like to see you get some time off because you deserve it. I'm busting my ass here, man. It's good stuff, though. Uh, dung is fun as the draft nothing but being more than cannon fodder because I'm a mechanical engineer. I could possibly fix vehicles for the military. And if you get drafted, they don't care. They don't care. You will go. It's called needs in the military. So if they need people to run into cannons to get smoked, you're the guy. Sorry. Yeah. And you're going. Yeah. Traeger's McNickers, Putin's a miracle worker. He got Wokies to care about some national borders, certain white people, some gun ownership, and all more than the coof. Yeah, he did. And all while they're repealing all of the restrictions that they used to cripple our economy for the last two years. And because why? the midterms are coming. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, no, it's the, because the science has changed. Yeah, fuck off with your change yeah, The science. same science that gives us 78 genders, right? Kiss my ass. New York City, though, is still requiring, like... Five-year-old kids to wear masks. Fuck, Shock. Fuck it's, the, it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And the idiots out there, you know, they're, they're we want mask mandates back. Wear one if you want to. Otherwise, fuck off. That's right. This is ridiculous. Listen, the virus is out there. There's nothing you can do to reel it back. You're just going to have to fucking live with it. And unfortunately, some people are going to die. Yep. Deal. That is reality. Sorry. C.G. Roberts wants us to know nitrogen fertilizer is a byproduct of natural gas production, so grains and crops are on the line now. Yes, most of yep. the nitrogen-rich soil that we get is imported from Russia, so no, no, guess no. what? We import <laughs> a lot of nitrogen fertilizer from the Russia and the Ukraine. Yes. We can easily make our own, but we haven't. In the past, because we outsourced it to somebody else that needs and to change. And there's no fucking reason for that. You know, the reason why World War II pulled us out of the Great Depression, it sure as fuck wasn't FDR's socialist policies. No. The reason why it pulled us out of a Great Depression is because at that point in time, we were a manufacturing nation. Now we're not. Mm-hmm. War is really a great way to cripple this country, skyrocket inflation, and fuck the middle and lower classes right in the ass, and that's exactly why they want it. And here's what happens when you fuck the middle class and lower class bad enough. The upper class and the elite get wiped the fuck out. And that's a historic example. Yep. So it would be in their best interest to keep that from happening. Yes. 
Uh, Zone 1144, and that's why Europeans hate America. America can't keep their promises. That's absolutely correct. Yep. The pimped-out platypus, an oil embargo against Japan, prompted the attack on Pearl Harbor. Yes, it did. History is going to be repeating itself. Mm -hmm. Deep Purple 1987, what's the best thing someone with low income can do to prepare for the coming high oil prices and possible violence and food shortages? Well, the best thing you can do is get with get outside the city of yeah, 50 miles or more. Buy some guns. You get yourself not not a whole bunch of guns. You just need a couple to protect yourself I and didn't your say family. A whole bunch. You just said a few. And start stocking up on the, the cheaper foodstuffs like rice, raw flour, dried beans, and you can substitute like other proteins and stuff from things that you gather or hunt. I mean, that's the best thing to do. Now, if you're in the inner city, get out of the inner city because <laughs> it's gonna turn into a fucking death zone. Yep. What one in the butt butt, baby. Oh yeah. All right. That is all of the chats on YouTube, and that means it is time for Pop to empty his squirrel bladder one more time, and we are gonna go to new tech. Please make sure to look in the YouTube chat for links to direct lines where you can watch these on Rumble, MGTOW.tv, Odyssey, D Live, and Twitch. We're gonna be talking with Chris Falkowski. Chris Falkowski, the re the, the resident, uh, what was it, a Polak in chief? I think you said you called me pierogi, full pierogi? The full pierogi, yes, full the full pierogi lawyer. I, I'll go with that, full pierogi lawyer. <laughs> full pierogi <laughs> lawyer, Chris Falkowski. I call him the flow lock. The flow lock. Because <laughs> you always got to put words together. You're yeah, weird that way. I'm lazy. Dziękuję bardzo. <laughs> for the Polish people out there. No, Strovia. All, All right, right, gentlemen. Go empty your bladders. We'll see you back in five minutes. Look for those links. And uh, enjoy the music. All right.